What is going on guys, it's Chris here and today I'm going to be going over a veteran points in the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, first off I wanted to apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. Uh, I just really, the Elder Scrolls Online, as amazing as it is, there isn't that much information to work with. So what I want to ask you guys, the audience, the people that I make these videos for, is what kind of information do you want to see? If you want to see a certain guide, if you want me to even go over another overview again, let me know in the comments below and I'll get straight into that because uh, you guys are more important than the content I produce. So it's kind of quality over quantity if that makes sense and you guys have the quality. So let's get into the veteran points and discuss what they are and discuss what they could be used for and what they couldn't be used for if that makes sense. So let's get into it. So for those of you that don't know what veteran points are, let me give you a little rundown. Veteran points are similar to XP, and your veteran rank goes up when you gain them, like gaining a level. You'll gain veteran points for accomplishing certain tasks in-game. Imagine you were told you needed to kill a specific NPC or monster in a dungeon. If you're level 50, you'll get a veteran point for accomplishing this goal. When you get enough veteran points, you go up a veteran rank. There will be lots of ways to gain veteran points. You could gain veteran points in PvP and or in adventure zones. Veteran ranks do improve your character's power by granting stats and the ability to equip better gear. Though the increases are similar or are smaller than ones you'll gain through normal leveling, this will make it easier for you to visit whenever wherever you want in the next alliance you play. As you're all aware, once you hit level 50, you can actually play as another alliance. And will make it easier when you're grouping up with friends who may not be as advanced as you. You'll continue to gain skill points when increasing your veteran rank, so it's really a time when you'll be able to broaden your character skills. They'll release a full write-up of veteran points and veteran ranks in the near future, so I'll make sure to give you guys that information. So, there's three main ways you can get veteran points. Well, two really. They haven't really touched over adventure zones, so I'm going to go into PvP and Master Dungeons. So let's start with PvP. At max level, or at level 10, you can enter PvP. Personally, I'll be entering at a level 10 just to test it out, but then I'll be grinding my way up to level 50. In PvP, for doing certain tasks, such as taking a keep, becoming the Emperor, ruling Cyrodiil, you'll get veteran points and this will increase your veteran rank. That's basically all it is for PvP, I mean maybe getting uh, PvP achievements such as kill a thousand enemies in the opposing faction, not too sure yet, that isn't 100% confirmed. Now in Master Dungeons, if you were to kill the final creature or complete the quest, you will get veteran points. So let's take this for an example. David asks you to go kill the goblin. You fight your way through thousands of other goblins to kill this said goblin. Once you kill him, you return to David and gain veteran points. Seeing as you're max level, you don't need XP anymore, so you'll start leveling up with your veteran points. More veteran points, more veteran rank, more badass gear. That's basically the overview of the veteran points, guys. If you want any other information, please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them and make a video for them. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the content we're putting out. You're sticking with us, and that's amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.